from the ending roar of the Tyrannosaurus Rex in Jurassic Park, all the way to the raptor calls in Jurassic Park 3, there is no disputing that the sound effects of these dinosaurs is a cherry on top for these iconic scenes. But the main question that was faced in Jurassic World was, what sound effect does a dinosaur hybrid make, especially one that consists of raptor DNA and T-Rex DNA? Well, the answer is this. A very deep tone is produced, but contrary to its DNA types, there is no raptor sound effects in that mix. Logically though, that would make sense. Judging by the sheer size of the creature, raptor DNA was probably used here and there, while Giganotosaurus DNA and T-Rex DNA were used more often. The many variations in DNA use may have played the biggest role on the Irex's sound effect, but certainly, as we all watched Jurassic World in June of 2015, the improbable idea of the Irex being scaled down to the size of a raptor likely did not cross our minds until Vic Hoskins came along. Little did we know though, in just a couple of years we would see exactly that. Scaled down and heavily modified, the Irex is now the Indoraptor. Now you would suspect the sound effects of this animal to be very similar to the Irex, but you have to consider the difference in hormones, size, and DNA portions. We would assume Dr. Henry Wu will use more raptor DNA and a whole lot less of T-Rex DNA and Giganotosaurus DNA. With those changes made, a much more raptor-based, higher pitch roar would be heard, but still having some sort of faint roars from the large theropods. One significant aspect I would love to hear is a subtle growl from the Indominus Rex. This would bring back a very nostalgic feel from Jurassic World, and it would carry the Irex's legacy into Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. From just a couple of years ago, you would assume Owen, Claire, and Blue would still recognize this roar. By letting out this sound effect, it may confuse and convince Blue that the Indoraptor is the Alpha, either causing a flashback or extreme aggression. Either way though, that would be fantastic to see. One more unknown factor to talk about is the very ending of the official trailer. Eric on Twitter brought this back up, and it is quite intriguing. Now obviously this could be any dinosaur, but it does fit the criteria for the Indoraptor's roar. What are your thoughts on this though? Is this the sound effect of the Indoraptor or a different dinosaur? Also, what do you guys want the Indoraptor to sound like in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Write this all down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.